This is part one of a full series looking at the biggest fears and concerns when moving to Asia. In today's video, we will be covering the topic of money. Here are some common concerns that you may have at the back of your mind. What if I don't have enough money to live in Asia? What if I lose my money or get scammed and end up penniless? What if I love my new life in Asia? but due to the lack of money, I'm forced to move back home. These fears can be addressed with planning and strategic action. But even before we get to that stage, we need to look specifically at your concern. So my question is to you, what is your big worry that you have about moving to Asia? The chances are it may be a financial situation. So it may help to write this concern down. This is a very similar practice to the book, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie. The next stage is to write down all possible solutions, whether these are good or bad. A moment ago, I spoke about a few few common concerns. So let's take one of these as an example. The example of, what if I love my new life in Asia, but due to the lack of money, I'm forced to move back home. As you can probably tell, there are many different types of solutions for this problem. But only until we exhaust all options do we see that we have a lot more options than we initially thought. Over the years, many expats have come to me for advice on subjects very similar to this. Once we looked over this question in hand, we found several ways to earn a good salary living in Asia. If this option was not applicable to them, then there are thousands of legitimate online businesses and income streams that are available. But let's go back to your concern. Once you have written down your options, there may be two or three that appeal to you much more than the others. So the next stage is to start to look at the pros and cons of taking this action. Feel free to include any important information that you feel is relevant. Once you have a baseline, you can then start to build your plan and action your strategy. For instance, if you are concerned about not having enough money to live in Asia, then your action steps could be to generate 1000 US dollars each month over the period of the next six to 12 months. Your strategy could involve an investment in your home country that you can use while living in Asia to generate that $1,000. But this is just one example out of many. There are many retired people and there are also many people who do not wish to work while living in Asia, which is understandable. So your plan and strategy may be slightly different than others. If you are fluent in English, you already have a massive advantage. Not only is most of the internet in English, but there are also many opportunities for English speakers across Asia. If you are looking to live in Asia permanently, there are always options available, but sometimes you may need to go two steps back in order to go five steps forward. But nonetheless, worrying about money or any other topic does not have any long-term benefits whatsoever. When you start to think about your concerns, always aim to look at the potential solutions. Often, when looking to move to Asia, it's not that the options are not there, but instead they are not clear. 